Before solving this shear center problem of gate 23, let me discuss what we did in the class during shear center topic and what they are asking. So in the lecture, we discuss about two types of structure that is thin wall section and boom type. This type of structure. For both type, first of all we found shear flow. After finding out shear flow, in the last step, we take moment balance about convenient point to find out the shear center. Correct? So they are asking from that last step when we take moment balance after finding out shear flow because shear flow they have already given. Correct? We just have to take moment balance about convenient point, the point they have already given. We will take the moment about O, right? So within one or two lines, we can solve this. Correct? Now, what about this curved part, curved wave section? How to analyze this? This type of structure, only curved section, it is already there in nodes. It is the third solved problem of the nodes, this curved section. So from that, we know we have to apply Brett Pato theorem that is torque is equal to 2aq for this curved section, where q is shear flow which is already given. Area is area enclosed by the curved wave section and straight line joining the booms, right? It means we need this area, correct? Now let's take the moment balance about point O. Let's start from here, 0 0.61 into 10 to the power minus 3 SY into this length, 500 mm, that will be in the unit of force, right? Then multiplied by moment arm, moment arm is this much, that is 100, right? This will be anti-clockwise. So let's write 0 0.61 into 10 raised to power minus 3 SY into 500 into 100. This will be anti-clockwise moment about point O. Correct? What about this? 2.86 into 10 to the power minus 3 SY into 200, this complete length, into moment arm, this much, that is 500. It is also anti-clockwise about point O. So plus 2.86 into 10 to the power minus 3 SY into 200 into 500, right? This will also be in anti-clockwise sense. What about this? This is also in the same sense, anti-clockwise sense, right? 0 0.61 into 10 to the power minus 3 SY into 500 into moment arm distance that is 100. This is also same thing only. So we'll just write twice of it. Correct? Because both are in anti clockwise sense. Now coming to this curved wave section, this is in clockwise. So we are writing in anti clockwise sense. Right? So we'll put one negative sign. Two point 1, 4 into 10 super minus 3 SY, this is shear flow. We have to apply this torque is equal to 2 AQ minus 2 area A. How to get this area? Complete area of the cell is given, that is this much, right? If we subtract this area from this complete area, we will get this area, right? So A will be equal to 135-000 minus this complete area that is 500 into 200. Right? So we will get 35-000 mm square. Now we can substitute the area value here.
राइट टू ए क्यू क्यू इज दिस मच टू पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू टेन दिस टू पावर माइनस थ्री एस वाई राइट दिस ऑल मोमेंट्स आर इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सेंस अबाउट द पॉइंट ओ राइट सो दिस मोमेंट विल बी इक्वल टू द एंटी क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट ओ ड्यू टू शेयर लोड एस वाई दिस राइट सो इट विल बी एस वाई इन टू ओ एस एस वाई इन टू ओ एस राइट एस वाई विल गेट कैंसल आउट फ्रॉम एवरीवेयर करेक्ट दिस विल बी सिक्सटी वन प्लस टू एटी सिक्स माइनस सेवेंटी इंटू टू पॉइंट वन फोर इज इक्वल टू ओ एस तो फाइनली वी गॉट ओ एस इज इक्वल टू वन नाइंटी सेवन पॉइंट टू एम एम so they are asking with respect to point o marked in the figure the distance to this shear center s is means os is 197.2 mm round off to the nearest integer means answer is 197 right 